well, high speed action, some emotion, and just further wonder, is it possible that it's, that it's uh, like that, or is that just close uh, friendship? Well, either way, I have a feeling like uh, everyone will accept what it is. This is the Ruby Volume 6, uh, Episode 11. From me, the Angry Enemy from the Despair Reviewer, who just realized actually that he forgot to, well, place a review or something. Or maybe he forgot to pl place it in the channel, wh wh whoever. The first half of this is more comedy, although it is still serious, as Team Ruby and Juniper, Sans, uh, Jang, and uh, Blake try to fight out the insane Cordovan in her giant mech. While it seems like Cordovan has the upper hand, John is pointing out that that uh, machine is probably u more used to fighting giant grim in the water rather than small enemies, which is true. I mean, Cordovan's mech packs a punch, literally, but uh, it is not used to their quick movements, as the gang managed to even find the shields. This uh, section has actually a lot of uh, comedy to it, especially when Ruby is the one pointing out that in video games, a robot's weakness is on the back. So when so when uh, Crow, who by the way actually redeems himself a, a little in this episode, here he's showing his battle style that he has uh, and shown in a very long while, and even saying if you need eyes, you have some extra here. Is that the final um, finally the path on Crow's redemption? He has been he has been pathetic this entire volume. Granted, however, he fell into despair, and I know all too well what happens when you fell into when you fall into despair. But my point is, uh, he and uh, Ren finds a shield that just says, here is the shield. And it's pretty some common moments. Including on the fact when Ruby falls and, and Wise capture her and says, catch her and says, what if you did, I wouldn't catch you? I know you would. Oscar and uh, Marie is uh, providing air support by checking out many things. And also is the fact that uh, this is uh, that this is also one of the moments where uh, which seems to confirm Ren and Nora, yeah. because when Nora has probably the funniest lines of this entire episode, but this one of her lines that sticks out most, you getting back here with my man. Granted, however, Ren is on the robot, so it's not exactly known if he hears that, but is, are we to meant to take that as, yes, they are together now, or are we to say that she admits that? Well. I guess we'll wait and see. I mean, the opening did show Nora and Ren being very close to each other, so maybe, yeah, maybe just the ship of Ren and Nora is official now. Unfortunately, as much as I wanted this this mecha fight to end this episode, it didn't. While it looked like they had the upper hand, yes, suddenly Cordovan decided to target Maria, but we don't see what happens when it happens. But the fact is that Cordovan's racism and her idiocy and her insanity is actually for making her forget one very important thing, one I pointed out last time. Because when Cordovan's mecha temporarily trips, it creates a mind shake that actually sends worry through the entire kingdom. And we all know what happens if a kingdom is in worry. Grant that she will blame that on Team Ruby, but I will still say she overreacted by taking the mecha. That's the first half of this episode. The other half is, um, yes, pure action as... Blake fights off the insane Adam, and while it looks like she is doing her best, uh, even uh, losing her coat, by the way, mm, that's a nice I, I can of it all, it does, uh, unfortunately, so that Adam is more powerful than we give him credit for. Granted, he has always been like that. So, um, it's... Uh, and uh, he begins to rant on the usual things on how Blake is weak, on the fact that she uh, hurt him, and all that stuff. I mean, we all know that um, Adam is a very, uh, of a, if a mirror of an abusive boyfriend, therefore they tend to sprout these sort of things when they feel like their loved ones have wronged them. However, the most things about this episode is the fact that finally Adam takes off that blindfold that we were teased with last time, and we finally see his entire face. Well, almost. Turns out that uh, the reason why he's always wielded a mask is not only for a symbol, but because one of his eyes has a very bad burning scar that says uh, SDC, possibly a massive brand by the Schneeze, which made him blind in one eye, 
but his uh, other eye is blue, which is pretty ironic considering the fact that uh, uh, is the fact that uh, well that he has blue eyes yet is insane. Yang comes in just before it looks like Blake is gonna lose the fight. Oh yeah, and by the way, Blake's weapon gets sliced in half here. I guess that is meant to show despair. Yang appears here and she also does that pretty amazing. But she sacrifices her bike to temporarily knock Adam back. And then she fights Adam herself. And even that is not enough to take down Adam as it's revealed that his semblance is similar to Yang, but the only difference is that unlike Yang who has to take damage to counter with more power, uh, Adam can channel the kinetic energy into, into strength by parrying in his sword and then of course that's slicing. That is how he sends out sword beams. It doesn't exactly explain his super speed though, but it does show why he is to rely on his sword. So well, it does... Um, it does uh, show uh, much of it all, but but Jiang managed to block one powerful attack made by Adam. The same attack that om well almost the same attack that took her arm the first time. However, it's worth noting that even though she blocks that with the prosthetic arm, it still creates a jack. As her hands is shaking, Blake takes uh, Jiang's hand and says that we are protecting each other, as they stand against the man of their nightmares. So. Uh, Mm. And it's pretty, and it's also as I said before, while Adam is of course very insane here, it once again shows uh, also the fact that another thing that makes him so very, sim that makes him a very good image of an abusive boyfriend is uh, his psychological projection. He accuses uh, Blake of cowardice, uh, abandoning uh, uh, and, uh, and also selfish, but uh, while all the while uh, completely delusional, or perhaps never admitting, that he was the one who abandoned his men in Haven when he was to be arrested, as well as saying that he has been selfish, as his short story is best example of that, as he slowly fell into madness there. So, uh, so well, this is basically this. And what I said in the beginning, that uh, holding the hand of Jiang while heartwarming, is that meant to say something, or is that just close friendship of it all? I mean, if you ask me, I will always just prefer Sun and Blake over anything else. But still, they stood together, and they have also become a little bit closer this season, especially as at first they wanted to protect um, one of the other, but now they will protect each other. That, as it, while it does, in, while this episode, no, sorry, while this volume seems to imply that unfortunately we won't see any Cinder death anytime soon, it does seem to imply though that maybe Adam will die this volume, and in a way that is good. I mean, granted he did fight Yang and Yang had a vendetta, but I still wish we would have seen Sun fight uh, Adam, especially since Sun is the exact opposite. Of Adam, especially he. Uh, oh no, the only difference is that he is a monkey while Adam is a bull. But yeah, it's basically this uh, episode. It has some nice moments of it all, nice action scenes, and the fact that um, Blake uh, lost her coat is some nice eye candy. It's so not it's sometimes so not very apparent that she wields so very little, especially in a cold like this. The fight against Cordovan was more funny though than very serious, although that ending when Cordovan was about to grab Maria, that was some huge despair. Okay, we're slowly heading towards the end, so how many episodes do we have left now? Hmm. Well, maybe two, or one, well, maybe two. So as I said before, I suspect Adam's death. However, how is this volume gonna end? Well, I have a very big feeling in despair. So give me your thoughts if you have any.